Endeavor arriving. Got some confirmation that the crew is go for ingress and you can see <laughs> Aki is the first to ingress onto the International Space Station. And Gwyn Gwyn. <laughs> and Gwyn Gwyn. <laughs> Followed by Thomas Pesquet from the European Space Agency. <laughs> Lots of hugs and smiles right now. Pilot uh, Megan MacArthur of Crew 2 is next being welcomed by the Expedition 65 crew members <laughs> and, and Shane Kimbrough bringing up the rear. The 11-person crew of Expedition 65 now together inside No. 2 of the International Space Station. <laughs> Though we can't even hear audio in there, you could really feel the excitement just by the looks on their faces, the hugs that they're giving. Now they're getting ready for this official welcome ceremony. You can see them getting into position. With let, let the Tetris game of fitting 11 <laughs> crew members into a single frame begin. <laughs> right. Uh, 12. Gwen Gwen. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Houston, this is Station. We are ready for the event. Mr. Jersick, please call Station for a voice check. Station, this is Steve Jersick. How do you hear me? Steve, we have you loud and clear. Welcome to the International Space Station. Hey, man, it is awesome to see the 11 of you on station. It's incredible. Um, congratulations, uh, congratulations, Crew 2, on an amazing launch yesterday. Uh, coming to Kennedy Space Center and watching launches never gets old. And, um, and uh, seeing the pre-dawn launch yesterday was amazing. So congratulations. I also want to congratulate the NASA and SpaceX team for our third commercial crew mission in, in less than a year. A lot of firsts on this mission, um, including the first uh, crew handover uh, of commercial crew vehicle. And it was, it, it was, it was really cool see, during docking to see one Dragon docked on the Zenith port and the other Dragon coming in for, for docking. So it was, it was amazing. Um, April has been an amazing month and a really busy month for, for ISS. Um, with uh, Mark, uh, Pieter, and Oleg launching to ISS, Kate and her Russian colleagues coming back, uh, Crew 2 there, and now preparing for Crew 1 to come, come back. And I am really excited for all the research, uh, technology development um, that is going to be able to be uh, enabled on station with these regular crew rotations and having four crew up there uh, consistently. It's not only important for advancing research technology development to benefit folks in, uh, here on Earth, but also to prepare for Artemis and our uh, return to the moon and eventually uh, are preparing for human missions to Mars. So it's just an incredibly exciting time for, for ISS. Um, you know, Shane, uh, Megan, Aki, and Thomas, uh, we, we thank Tomas, we, Toma, we thank you for um, everything you do for for the agency, uh, the country, and the world, and uh, and and we look forward to an amazing expedition. Um, crew one, um, you guys have had an am amazing six months. Um, Mike, uh, Victor, uh, Shannon, and Suichi, I've followed what you've done uh, to upgrade the station and all the research and technology you've been able to accomplish. And I uh, just want to congratulate you on an amazing expedition 
and uh, we look forward to your return next week. Um, so again, I'm just really excited for, uh, for this new kind of new era for ISS and all that you all have and will be able to accomplish. So thank you. Thank you, Steve. It is very exciting to have Crew 2 with us today. And so I'm not going to take up any time here. I'm just going to hand it over so we can get their thoughts. Thanks, Shannon. Thanks, Steve. And um, on behalf of Crew 2, we are just so excited to be here. I'm very excited to be here. Uh, in some ways, it's been a long journey. In other ways, it's been a pretty quick uh, one-year assignment flow. So it's taken a tremendous amount of work um, from a lot of different teams to get us here. We, of course, have our excellent training team at Johnson Space Center, also an outstanding training team uh, from Hawthorne, and the entire ISS program and commercial crew program working together to get us here, of course, as, as, um, as well as along with our international partners. We're just really excited to be here and be part of this historic mission um, with the two dragons on board, first reuse of a capsule, first reuse of a booster. It's just an, a, a tremendous achievement on behalf of our, our partner SpaceX. So I want to congratulate and thank them. And uh, we're just we're so excited to be here. We're ready to get to work. There's a lot of uh, great science um, that, that I know we're going to be <laughs> we're going to be doing. And uh, we're just excited to learn and get started. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jerzyk. We now welcome Associate Administrator Kathy Leaders to provide remarks. Ms. Leaders, please call, please call station for a voice check. Station, hi, this is Kathy Leaders. Do you hear me? Kathy Leaders, do you hear me? Kathy, we have you loud and clear. Wow, you know, I just don't, I think I could, I could see uh, Endeavor approaching station maybe one more time, you know, near and dear to my heart to see uh, that going on and uh, um, you know I think uh, both Steve and Megan mentioned how amazing it was to see uh, resilience there on the station the folks crew one folks and the other parts of the ISS team mark and I, I you guys had the best view but it was really cool seeing it from here on earth um, like Steve talked about wow this is uh, and Megan too, this is, we talk a lot about this being an exploration being a team sport. And this mission so far has really exemplified that, you know, with this, our commercial partner, SpaceX, with our international partners, um, and uh, with Toma and Aki, and obviously uh, Megan, you and Shane, you know, holding up on the, the NASA side here, and then our commercial crew and ISS teams. Uh, congratulations to all of you. It's just been an amazing, amazing mission. And I know uh, you guys are going to be doing some really great things. I've been here watching your, uh, the folks here on station waiting for you. And I know uh, you guys will be having a lot of fun together over this direct uh, handover period. And with all of you on board, it's going to be a lot of fun for you and, uh, and getting ready for Crew One to come home. So. I just wanted to really, from the bottom of my heart, say thank you. Thanks to all of you. Thanks to, I'm, to the whole team, the international, the commercial, you folks there on the space station now today safely. Um, and looking forward to, like Steve said, seeing your accomplishments over the next six months. Thanks again. Thank you, Kathy. Really appreciate your support. Thank you, Ms. Leaders. We now welcome JAXA President Dr. Yamakawa Hiroshi. Dr. Yamakawa, please call station for a voice check. Station, this is Yamakawa Hiroshi from Tsukuba. How do you hear me? Dr. Yamakawa, we hear loud and clear. <laughs> well, thank you, Aki. Well, f congratulations to all. I watched uh, yesterday's launch on TV and really feel relieved by your safe ar arrival to the station now. In this tough situation around the world, I believe you have brought courage and hope for all of us. It is a great pleasure not only for me, but also for Japan, 
that two Japanese astronauts, Aki and Soichi, have boarded the operational spacecraft of the Crew Dragon twice in a row. This represents the many years of close cooperation between uh, on the, uh, close cooperation on the International Space Station. I'm so happy to see both of you with big smiles today. And I understand that Aki advocates teamwork for this long-term mission, which comes from your experience in rugby football. The ISS is a symbol of international cooperation around the world, and we are looking forward to seeing you work as a team build a scrum with all of the crew members from NASA, ESA, and Russia on board, and keep scoring tries to maximize outcome during your mission. Soichi, we wish you a safe return to the Earth. And Aki, good luck and enjoy your stay in space. Noguchi-san, chikyu de matemasu. Hoshide-san, kore kara hantoshikan, ganbatte kudasai. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, it's an honor to be part of this team. Uh, we have an 11-person scrum right here and uh, with four countries uh, representing. Uh, and uh, it's a really an honor and privilege to fly on Crew 2 Dragon and uh, get here. Um, thank you to all the uh, people that worked very, very hard to prepare us and the vehicle. Uh, we got here safely, and now it's time to uh, work here on board the International Space Station. And we look forward to uh, working with uh, everyone around the world. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Yamakawa. We now welcome ESA Director General Joseph Ashbacher. Dr. Ashbacher, please call station for a voice check. Station, uh, this is Joseph Ashbacher. How do you hear me? Hey, Joseph, we hear you loud and clear. Welcome to the space station. Thank you, Thomas. This is uh, really great to see you, that uh, you and your crewmates uh, have arrived safely on the space station. Uh, greetings to all of you, 11 of you at the station, from all of us at ESA. It is really a fantastic effort uh, to see you all so nicely grouped together in the group photo. I think the station needs expansion, seeing what, uh, that you're all crowding together so nicely. Uh, on ESA, Thomas, we are all very, very proud of uh, you and what you're doing for space, uh, for uh, Europe, uh, for the space agency, also for France. Uh, you're extremely popular, as you know. We're all very proud of you, but of course, we're also very proud of all the other colleagues which are next to you, because uh, astronauts are so fascinating and they give so much inspiration uh, to all of us. So this was the first launch uh, of an ESA astronaut on a Crew Dragon. Uh, it was spectacular. And together with uh, Philippe uh, Baptiste, uh, the newly elected uh, CNES uh, president, we have followed uh, very closely uh, from uh, the suits up uh, all the way to the orbital journey to the station. And now just uh, recently, uh, just a few minutes ago, the hatch opening. And this was really so exciting and uh, really fantastic. It has been, I think, a long day for all of you, but uh, you all look uh, extremely in good shape and in good spirits. You're all smiling. This is uh, really fantastic to see down here from, from Earth. But Isa is really uh, very happy to, to see your assignment, uh, uh, Thomas, towards uh, the end of the, the mission as the ISS commander. And I really would like to, to take this uh, opportunity to, to thank the partners of the space station for this honor uh, to give to Thomas, uh, which uh, certainly is uh, a sign and uh, recognition of his uh, quality and uh, also his personal quality, but of course engineering and technical qualities to be the commander of the station, and also recognition for ESA uh, as being a strong partner and supporter of the space station all the way. So I know that uh, you have a, a long and very intense uh, training period behind you, and you're all set to go. Uh, there's a lot ahead of you. Hundreds of experiments are waiting, and uh, all of you will be kept extremely busy, but we all look forward to see the results of these experiments. So, Thomas, really very best wishes from all of us. Good luck and bonne chance.
Hey, thanks, Joseph. It's really, it's really unbelievable to be here on Space Station. Space Station has changed quite a bit since last time I was here. I've never seen so many astronauts on board. I've never seen so many different spacecrafts on board, and I think it's a tribute to how strong the program is going. Uh, I want to echo what Megan has, has uh, said. It took a lot of effort from uh, all kinds of people, you know, from the highest manager to uh, all kinds of support persons to bring us here. So we want to thank all of them. Um, and I want to say a few words about international cooperation. You said a lot, but uh, uh, it's been 20 years since uh, it's been 20 years actually Shane's line I learned it from Shane it's 20 years since uh, JAXA and ESA and uh, NASA and Russian astronaut have been together in space so it's actually pretty historic what's happening today uh, we can't wait to start our work on the space station we can't wait to see what's ahead on the adventure for us uh, in those five months we're so happy to see our friends we're gonna have to to say goodbye to them soon. We wish we could keep them a little bit longer, but not too long as well, because 11 people is a, is a lot on Space Station. Um, but yeah, it's good to be here. Really, we're impatient, and uh, and it's going to be unbelievable. I want to say a few, word in, a few words in French. Uh, je voudrais surtout remercier tous les gens qui, qui ont travaillé sur cette mission en français, et puis un, un petit mot pour les familles et les amis euh, qui sont déplacés jusqu'à jusqu Cap Canaveral. Ça n'a pas été un voyage facile. En tout cas, ça m'a vraiment fait chaud au cœur de les avoir avec moi. Donc je voulais les saluer. Euh, un peu particulièrement. Voilà. Merci à tous. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you. Thank you, Acting Administrator Jersik, Associate Administrator Leaders. Dr. Yamakawa and Dr. Oshbacher for your participation in the Crew 2 welcome ceremony. Station, we are now resuming operational audio communications. <laughs>